I'm going to talk about um, a topic of loss of internal rotation and the whole GERD and total motion concept and try to correlate that to injuries as well. Uh, it's uh, certainly been a great morning so far. Uh, Ken Crenshaw and I and we were talking in the back of the room about this batter shoulder. If you're not seeing it, you're probably going to see it shortly because it's certainly a problem that we see most common uh, or very commonly in the uh, baseball player. So. As was discussed uh, this morning, this throwing shoulder, obviously the biomechanics are imperative. The synchronicity of muscle firing is important, uh, the transfer of energy, and, and consequently with these high forces that are generated, as Glenn talked about this morning, uh, we tend to have these adaptations. And we all know these if you've ever seen a baseball player in your life, the gain in external rotation and this loss of internal rotation. And we think of the uh, adaptation of external as almost advantageous. It, it increases our angular velocity, it ball velocity, distance that we can throw, and so forth. But many times we think of this as a maladaptation or something that leads to injuries or, or problems uh, that will shortly ensue. Uh, 